Hi there. And yeah, so let us begin with the topic. Um, I I found it intriguing anyway. So let's talk about instinct. And instinct, in my opinion, it's an interesting topic because uh, every form of living creature on earth we all have them and uh, when i say the word instinct you know the first thing or the first thought that uh, may pop up for most of us maybe you know potentially most of us anyway <laughs> in any case the first word that pops up may potentially be Oh, sexy times, you know? Like procreation, because that's part of the instinct. Yeah, and I mean... The instinct is such a much broader <laughs> topic than just... You know, uh, sex <laughs> or reproduction and eating. And... Uh, yeah, there, uh, what is included in this instinct is also a sense of danger because uh, if we have a solid instinct it can actually sense or call out when yeah dangerous situations are at hand it can call these situations out much easier okay so let me explain uh, why? So instinct works most often much better within its own um, uh, species. And so yeah, let's say an ant, for example. An ant's instincts are pretty much, you know, <laughs> it's very specific to its entire life, you know, as a routine. You know, there are worker ants that go out and gather food, or there are worker ants that build the uh, ant uh, hill or ant uh, colony, <laughs> you know, and so there are many specific instincts programmed in these ants from, from the moment they are born. Like they know what they are doing, they know where they are heading. And uh, like that's how strong their instincts are. Like they already know what they are doing and that's what they are going to do. And uh, yeah, like they most often they do not stray too far from their path. And uh, since the whole of uh, you know, most ant species, they share a similar instinct that every ant know what they are doing and they are following that path and every other ant within the same species knows each other, you know, they communicate in their ways and they know each other's, you know, instincts and workplace, let's call it that, or purpose. And so there is often little to no uh, issue there in general. And uh, then uh, I mean, even many animals have this feature. Let's say uh, deer or like any, any other like forest animal or wild animal, like uh, frogs or lions or you name it. Like, I just, like birds, <laughs> like fish, like there are, like most animals just have this instinct how to interact with its own species. And this is where humans come in. It's like, ew, humans. <laughs> like humans and instinct, it's like... It's like part of me wanted to say like oil and water, because it we have uh, we have done so many like humans are like I was gonna say it. 
Humanity has been so traumatized by its own kind that we are terrified of each other. Like, I would dare to say that the majority of humans alive on Earth, they have a deep-rooted fear of other human, like other humans in general. And like, even if we speak the same language, we are still afraid to interact with uh, each other. And you know, uh, it's just so interesting to me because humans, we don't have, like, we don't have a practice to sense our instincts. And many people may go like, oh, but you know, base instincts, you, you, they are, they are, these are things that cannot be, you know, changed or that cannot be like shifted or like that, that's just something we are doing, like sex, like reproduction, for example. That's just a natural biological function that is, you know, based in instinct. And so that's the only thing we are going to do. Uh, have you ever seen porn? So yeah, you can't make that scientific argument of oh, sex is just, you know, this kind of, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, pure instinct. No, it's not. Like, we have uh, seriously, like, we have seriously strayed away from instinct, even when it comes to reproduction. Like... It's just not normal, like what porn is, and uh, it's just not healthy either. And so yeah, it's just um, there are so many like of these like base functions and instincts of what just makes a human that has been warped with you know like, I was gonna say, illogical logic. <laughs> like, logic that basically excu exclu excuses itself for being sound, reasonable, and true, and factual. And then they just paste that as an excuse for being instinct. However, I would dare to say and question these, you know, excuses to, I would question them. Because I would dare to say most people or most humans, they do not know what a constructive, natural, base human instinct even is. What it looks like, how it feels like. And I may even dare to say that many people have little idea of what, like, what their own instincts even tell them to do. <laughs> because of humanity's traumatization, numbing of itself. Oh my gosh, there are so many numbing and agents. I mean, let's just face it. Alcohol, like uh, medicines, drugs, smoking, and you name it. There are so many numbing agents you know, that numbs a person's senses. So we can't even tell anymore. Like if we are even hungry. Like maybe potentially if we are so hungry that we are just like forcing ourselves to do something about that, to feed ourselves. But in some cases we can't even tell that we are hungry. And uh, in this, you know, because here is the thing, animals with a more intact instinct, they act accordingly and constructingly with that. For example, there are animals that when they get injured, they actually turn away from uh, soci socializations in order to heal themselves. They are walking away to basically lick their wounds and to heal and recover. However, a human, they don't do this. If a human is wounded, if a human is 
And then they say, well, physically speaking, yeah. But how about mentally or emotionally? If you are mentally wounded and emotionally wounded, do you go away to take a pause to recover? Most people don't. I mean, not too long ago, and this is still the case, not too long ago, people were actually shaming people for just going to see a psychiatrist. You know, it was seen as shameful because you were deemed as, or seen as wrong. You know, it's like, are you seeing a psychiatrist? Is something wrong with you? Are you broken in some way? You know, that kind of shaming or guilting. And so, I mean, think about that. A hundred or so years ago, this was the case. That it was shameful and, and like guilting to even admit at the time that we were like <gasps> mentally like wrong in some way. And I mean, this had definitely improved over the last, you know, years and decades. But in general, the notion of this is kind of still there. That it is seen as wrong to be a little bit like mentally unstable or mentally wounded in some way, shape or form. And that most of the time we got to, you know, tough it out or you know, so on. In any case, back to the main point here, which is that when humans are wounded, we have not been taught to actually take the time to recover properly. Heck, even when some people get physically wounded, many people do not actually rest properly to actually heal and recover from that. And uh, yeah, I mean, in such a stressed out environment too, society do not have compassion. Like Society lacks compassion to actually give people the time to recover. So, uh, yeah. However, animals, like other than humans, they do not care about this. Animals, like, or insects, like, okay, my, like, they just, they want to actually care when their instincts are intact. They are actually constructingly like in favor of their own health and well-being. And uh, this includes, you know, that the animals and insects, they can tell when they are in danger. They can tell when something dangerous is about to happen, especially within their own species. Because animals' instincts, let's say like deer or insects or such, because their instincts are so intact and so similar, you know, their instincts and purposes life is pretty much the same. Pretty much on a daily routine basis, the same. That their base instincts are telling them what to do and how to navigate their lives. They can tell when... Uh, a member of their own species instincts have been you know traumatized or off or dangerous in any way shape or form because they recognize that this other you know uh, animal or insect they are not acting out from their main purpose in life or main instinct in life this is something animals can tell right away when their instincts or routinely daily instincts aren't followed. And this is something humans suck at, <laughs> you know, in my opinion. Like humans suck at actually telling when a member of our own species is actually dangerous. Humans have dulled 
and numbed their own senses to such a degree they can't even tell when someone is dangerous. In my opinion, a human's functioning instincts, however, they would be able to call people out on this. If humans in general as a whole had a more functioning, more wholesome and healed or let's say a more um, prominent instinct, we could actually much more easily navigate you know, interaction and communicating with each other. We would actually be able to tell when someone was sick. We would be able to tell when someone is, you know, harmful. We would be able to tell in what state the other human being is in. This is something animals and insects do too. Especially when they are in a group setting, many animals actually aid in the recovery of their own you know, member in, within that group. Many humans, however, they don't do this. Especially when it comes to mental and emotional health. Physically, and that's obvious, physically speaking, we, like, if we see a broken bone or a broken arm, we basically go, okay, we can go to a hospital, you know. And that's easy. That's easy to tell. But it's not like... I mean, there is enough compassion to see, oh, okay, it's, uh, that's a broken arm. Let's get you to a hospital, <laughs> you know. However, when it comes to mental health and emotional health, because let's just be honest, humans have much more of a developed brain and cognitive function. And thus, mental health is vital to be able to tell, in my opinion anyway, <laughs> it's vital to be able to at least have a vague understanding of uh, how our instincts are interacting with this cognitive function that our instincts, like in what ways our brains are interpreting basic instinctive functions in the body. And here is where our brains and our mental health can actually inhibit, disrupt and warp our base instinct and basic functions that is actually natural to what it even means to being a living animal on earth humans actually do have a have a like animalistic instinct however mentally we have abused those instincts so much we have abused those instincts and to such a degree worldwide that we have normalized abusing our natural states we have normalized to mentally see ourselves as, you know, numb or harsh or insensitive or, you know, you name it. And uh, again, because of all of this, phew, yeah, we can't, we have not been raised to tell that... Um, like how dangerous mentally and emotionally society is for humans. And so uh, this is something to think about. This is why I find this topic so intriguing. Because it's something most of the time we have normalized. That we don't have you no... Know, we lack an awareness. What, the, what is this hair wanting to do? My hair lack instinct. <laughs> Maybe, okay. So, there. Uh, in any case. Uh, so, yeah. 
I mean, when a human's instinct... I'm just gonna think about this from a... Uh, how would a human's instinct, when it is in its healthier form, look like? I would say a human's healthier basic natural instinct in its healthier form it would actually be able to tell it would like to tell how the state of another human being is in way easier that base instinct would also be able to communicate much easier and when i say communicate I mean to communicate on a just basic instinct of going like yeah 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 it's much easier to com communicate when someone has a more intact instinct because it makes you able to sense that they do not mean actual harm and that uh, these when you interact more from an instinctive base, it's almost like ants, you know? I mean, ants do not use words to communicate. They just use their antennas to sniff or to sense the other, you know, creature. <laughs> and humans, in my opinion, in their own instincts, healthier version, could actually do the same. This is the belief. Uh -huh. This is the... Well, I have been able to tell anyway that a human's senses can actually communicate with each other without words. But they are just using their senses, their basic instinctive senses to tell in what state of health and in what kind of purpose the other human is in if they are following their purpose in life like the ants are doing. However, humans developed cognitive functions have basically suppressed these senses. Like, and I, when I say suppressed, I mean like, oh my gosh, like, for most of humanity, this sense is kind of dulled and numbed and suppressed to such a degree, most of us would probably not even have any awareness that we have this kind of sense at all. <laughs> but I can tell you, this kind of communicative, intuitive sense if you are an animal or an insect, like and then you are alive on Earth, then you have this instinct. And that's partially why we all of us are alive because of our reproductive instinct. However, as again our cognitive functions have pretty much made it uh, that we have abused sexual instinct and we also have little idea how to communicate when it comes to sexual instincts either <laughs> it's so like uh, cognitively speaking humans are extremely damaged when it comes to cognitive health like the majority of humanity is actually yeah, damaged. That's uh, like if you become sensitive enough, is it relatively easy to see? <laughs> Fuck, you don't even need to be that sensitive to tell. <laughs> Just look in the world and you can tell yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. This was basically just a theory kind of vibe going on here. I just, just wanted to, you know, spark thinking and questioning life. And potentially also introduce that instinct in a human 
is an actual thing and it can actually be practiced and it can be improved upon and it is also an amazing way to communicate and interact with the world <laughs> so yeah those are my thoughts hmm. thank you all for watching and yeah see you sometime <laughs>